The San Rafael Swell is a hidden jewel with red rock, stunning cliffs and walls, buttes and mesas, fantastic vistas and wide open spaces. The crumbling remains of mines on the swell tell a story. They are a piece of our history, a link to the past. Listening to the miners tell their stories gives a fascinating glimpse into a world far removed from what we experience today. This video was made to memorialize and document the hardy men and women who lived and worked at the mines. Well, it boomed in the 50s and got quite high. The, I know at one time uh, the mining claims that uh, was going for $100 a claim. And at that time, everybody was talking uranium. That was the biggest thing going on in the United States. People were buying four-wheel drives, which were brand new at the time, and uh, looking at Geiger counters, buying uranium stocks, and it was something everyone talked about. There was a definite decrease, like in the 70s, late 60s, 70s, uh, real decrease in the amount of activity that was in this matter fell as well. We'd go out and uh, have borrowed a Geiger counter and we'd get along the front of the face of a cliff or something and where you could pick up the uranium and then we would go up on top of the, the bench and start staking claims. If you went to an ant bed and looked in the ant bed for little pieces of yellow uranium. That indicated that there was probably something down below. And we would just mine by hand. Uh, we had picks and shovels and wheelbarrows and bars uh, and big bars. And then we drill holes by hand, hand drilling the hole. A lot of this work, the mucky in these mole mines was done with wheelbarrows, transporting, and carbide lights. And there was a lot of ventilation coming through them old diggings. You couldn't keep your carbide light going, so every once in a while you'd be in the dark. All we ever got by, I don't know. I believe that uh... We've got such a great history out here that we need to really preserve all these sites. Uh, you can uh, take pictures and, and go to different places, and, uh, but to get the fitting, you gotta see it in hand. What I love most about it is how beautiful it is, how remote it is, and that I can come out here and um, prospect or uh, camp or something without somebody bothering me. I feel like uh, that the public needs to get out in the swell and see, see what a marvelous area it is. There's no other area in the whole world it's, it's like it. The miners pushed out through the area built roads and trails and things we still use today. Uh, we'd never be able to see, most people would never be able to see how beautiful the swell area is without the old uranium miners. We have to give them credit for opening up the swell and making it what it is today so visitors could go see it and enjoy them. <laughs> Thank you.